whole blood is the first product ever transfused. And there's at least a couple of case reports of that being tried in battlefield medicine as early as the Civil War. By World War I, we're starting to use it regularly, and by World War II, it is the standard. After Korea and, and by the time Vietnam arrives, we're starting to see more and more fractionation of blood products. Blood banking exploded in that late 60s, early 70s. They could actually give serve more patients by unbundling, if you will, that whole blood. They could get more bang for the buck out of that each unit donated. But not a single study was actually done to show that it was good or safe to substitute it out in hemorrhagic shock patients. When the, the newer conflicts and certainly um, the war on terror, OIF, OEF, by the time those battles roll around, whole blood is starting to be used partially just out of necessity. You know, some of those surgical teams didn't have any other resource, and so they activated walking blood banks. Soldiers and nurses and things like that right there at the bedside. And with the anecdotal experience of, oh my God, this stuff really works. and. The patients stop bleeding, they're turning around, they're getting better. Resuscitation has changed drastically in the past couple decades. For one, we use a lot more blood in general as resuscitation has changed. Um, so of the sort of triggers to even give blood at all, we used to wait a long time before we gave it. Now we just give it right away. With whole blood, both the red cell component and the plasma and platelet components appear to be a universal product to all patients. The only good thing that comes out of war is the advances that we have in, in medical technology. I had an intrinsic desire to make sure that we didn't forget the lessons learned from, you know, my sisters and brothers who sacrificed their lives for us to figure it out that, that whole blood works. The whole blood actually had an impact on mortality across the spectrum of injury severity. Whole blood should be used for everyone and that should be the standard practice.